this mid matchup can go really bad for mm. Puck. It's one of the like best matchups in my opinion because not only do you win the early few levels, but you actually also win like the level six timing. Because anytime you press ult on the Puck, you win the trade. Even if he closes you after the like HP advantage is just better for you on Void. Well, Kasp gave me a weird look when I said that, and now Bot getting first blood on Insania. No trade, and... As well as the God's Rebuke, but FY not too Ooh. near, misses the power shot. Has a lot of magic one charges. Goes the Swarm out, magic at 11. missile, damage on the Bot with a blood grenade. He's getting low, pops a fairy fire, it doesn't matter. There was... I think the same lane or pretty similar lane where Jin Q was playing and he bought Butler as his first item on Lion. Because they have a lot of minus armor. You're playing into Venge, you're playing into this Beavers. It's good all damage. about the right click. Teaming yeah, will drop. It's a good kill. Basically, have a really big advantage with the level 6 timing. Enough that he can even force Nisha to walk base. Uh, for, for mid heroes and mid players, something for the chat to think about. As long as Insania doesn't die here. And blood Grenade, and now they've got the power shot. Looking over at Insania, maybe trying to trade for FY. Level but five puck they've here. got Nisha who came over. He was going to grab the Bounty Rune, so he happens to be in the area. And that actually really stinks for FY. They lose 33 top, and it stinks for FY because he tried to TP out. Now he's yeah. walking back. So anytime you can force the mid here to like walk base, TP mid, or like TP side lane and not get a kill, it really matters. Ooh, looking for that Aether Remnant, lands it. Has that level 6 advantage, Illusory Orb over, and Insania looking to maybe get a stun Boxes on this 6 minute. They get the Arcane That's big, that's Magic massive. Missile. He's still 5 on Puck, though. Needs one CS. Uses. Yeah, he needs something to come his way. TMing looking for the Two Blast CS, off. Three of them. That's going to be a 3-man hit. Astro Step, they get the kill into Insania. Can they take out more? Dream Coil. Power shot. Oh, oh, the Power, power shot, shot again. Shadow oh, nice next one. on the Puck. Oh, my. Waning Rift to get the silence on a two. They got the kill to the puck. They'll look over at Boxy. This could be three for Azor Ray losing nothing. They're looking for the high five and the power shot kill. Azor Ray react and they take all three out. Woo! Not normally like ZinQ where he plays really greedy in terms of like items. He'll play more flashy support, but also very supporty items. Is Wind Ranger one of those heroes that you could do something where you get maybe a little bit more? As it looks like 33 power shop from downtown and FY, he's on fire. It's definitely one of the things where if you know they'll, they'll stack and want to contest yours, you'll just think about fighting theirs more so than yours and like using big cooldowns. All right, Low. so Low is like, he's one of the best carries I think at doing this gameplay. Oh, Spear and Arena just landing. Blast offs there, but do they have it? Mickey's Time lapse, thanky. Mickey. Strong enough with the magic missile being thrown out. Lowe's going to take some damage. They've got Boxy around as well as Nisha showing up. But Ori's also here. They try to smoke. But now they lose the orb away. They go to the Dream Core. They've got the swarm. Is they might kill him here. Remnant? Yeah, they got him. Ori, Stolen very fragile. Remnant. They had Boxy with this Rubik steal on the Aether Remnant. They're going to bring in Alchemist. He oh, stuns no, himself he with the himself. TP. So FY on the run. Shikuchi trying to get him. Aether Remnant lands on a Bok. Illusory Orb. That's going to be another kill. It looks like, but the gods are rebuke, the mango, Bach can't get out. I'm getting confused. Pock, Bach, Boxy, Slow. so many Ooh. similar names. He is in a bad uh -oh. spot. Everybody's here. He's he's dead on his screen already. There's no way he can get out of this one. Illusory Orb to jump in. Mickey, uh, this is just uh, Azore. This is the read, right? Because Azore do this a lot. And so it's a little inflated because you do, of course, have that Alk, but not terribly with a fight like that, a 2k net worth lead. I believe the stacks still exist. Liquid didn't cross the river, but now Dream Coil. They've got ult on low, but Silence, it's not going to matter, potentially. They get him. Even at this the mess-up is... hill, they're still going to get the kill. AD, also known as Amplified Damage, making the difference there. Yeah, big big defense in the bot tier one. Again, opening out this uh, safe lane tower matters a lot for just the areas of the map Fuck. you're able to farm. And so for Liquid, the Mickey moves there now, gets it for free. Swap, Waning Rift, little Magic Missile. There is responses. Bach misses the Spear, but they've got Ori. Bach down to about one hit left. Fade Bolt comes in, Boxy gets the kill. The Aether Remnant, Insania not dying, but they land the Shackle Shot, Astral Step. But now you're hit by the Magic Missile and you've hit the Waning Rift Silence. So he's dead again. Ori, who had this amazing start, back-to-back -back deaths like that, shut his game down for a bit, and they're all of a sudden up 5,000 net worth. And yeah, very snowbally. Just get out of control here. And Liquid's starting to retaliate to this one. 
They've got all these heroes coming in, but it's not looking like it's going to be in time. So Aegis is picked up by low. But Liquid might be willing to still fight. They get Big the double stun. stunned by this Alchemist. The arena's down. Can they get the kill on a low? They've got the swap out top. on a 33. They go to the blast off. They already took out the Mars. Box is going to be dead. There's the Aegis being used. Ori trying to get the kill here out of the puck. He's got himself the eighth Shackle? round to get the lockdown. FY though, not able to follow this up with anything. TMing's going to die here. And they got themselves the Aegis. But it looks like it's a one fight for sure here for Liquid. They get three kills. And they get Aegis, so this is pretty massive. Stolen Aether Remnant doesn't connect, but now he stole the reactive Taser. All right, new idea. If... Oh, wait, hold up. Looking to blink stun. That'll be on a TMing. They've also got the help of Nisha, so Techies is dead. All right, crazy new idea for Troll. <laughs> it's an original idea. What do you think? Ice Frog. Get on it. Again. What about Again. one of, one of the best Meaning abilities rip. in the game? Dream Coil. Rampage. Maybe. Telekinesis, there's the stun. Low in trouble. Dust is used. Gets ult. himself that there ult off. Bruh. There's the arena as well as Bruh. maybe a spear <laughs> follow-up. They get the kill on a 33, so this is looking okay. They find themselves the Rubik. Boxy's in trouble, but the waning rift on a three heroes. They look over low. He's trying to get out of this, but the Maelstrom proc gets the kill there. They've landed a the spear. Astro they stab. Mickey. They get the kill on a Mickey. They take out the Weaver, but they might clean up on Liquid. Or he's in trouble. Looking over at Insania, they get the kill with Nietzsche going in with the waning rift on the Void Spirit. So FY, TMing, Bach, they survive. This time around, he doesn't have as much gold as he had in the series when they played against Team Spirit. But uh, yeah, those hexes definitely going to be needed against Weaver, against Puck, FY? and Ooh. also FY. He is going for scaling, so picking up that Maelstrom. Seeds of Serenity. We've seen 33 when he's playing Alchemist. That oh, they he... found back. Oh, this is uh, another good kill. Because if he dies like two or three times on the Alchemist, which he's the most farm hero in the game, you're still playing like the offlane if you're not careful enough. It starts to add up. I think when you're like ahead and behind, it sometimes manifests Whoa. in different ways. Hold. Whoa. He's Snap like, it. Snapping it. He's dead. Where is he? Where's his team? I, I don't think you can blame it on the, on the team Where's here. Team, guys? <laughs> Where I'm is lost. the team? I mean, I just feel like he's out all alone. I, I would love to see somebody there. He was but there, a Bach too, you know, he's top by himself, Mick blast game. off, Mickey, bombs, Shackle, Whoa, connecting. what is that angle? That is interesting. Ooh. Woo! Oh, it was stunned on two. But, oh. oh, the arena, the Gale Force, that combo you talked about, but they just missed the spear on the arena. It's the anti-combo here. I think this advantage is not so much that they don't have the damage, it's just that Liquid has more damage and kind of like easier fight starts. Shackle does not connect, but they get the eighth around. Whoa! Another one here. That that's actually a really hard one. So the puck you can blink with like 30 degrees. And for Azure, it's really only the troll, the Mars and the or the void, sorry. The Mars and the troll really have to like commit. Like they blink arena, the void the troll press everything and they have to kill in that like time frame. Silence, waning rift, Aether Remnant thrown, not gonna land. They really need to get that they got out of Weaver. Boxy, but they got the Weaver, they go to nice the Spear, swap, the again. swap, perfect, Glate here. This is Liquid trying to turn it around, they've got the Dream Coil, they've got the Kona Bach, they'll take out Ori, both heroes gone. Perfect swap to save the Weaver. Make a immediately dips Insania. Yeah. They're in Roche, this is the second Roche. So low coming over, but this should be really pretty fast. quick. And I don't know if Azure are going to be as fortunate if they were going to fight after this. 33 with just an aggressive blink. He's in there with Mickey. They go to the Dream Coil. They look over at Ori. He's going to be stunned up as he snaps the Coil. Lowe's trying to get in on this one. He's got a shield rune. The arena's going to be down on a two. The spear lands on a Mickey. Bach trying to run away. He's got some help from Lowe over Gross to the side. Weaponry. But Lowe, look at it go. Where is he going? Bach. Does he have anything to survive? No, the stun lands. They've got the Maelstrom proc that comes out from Mickey. And now the attention is going to be on the Windrunner. FY trying to run, but he's lifted up into the air. They get themselves a second kill. Reactive Taser. They're not going to be able to disarm this 33 Alchemist or Boxy as they continue to move over, trying to blast off away from them. But Waning Rift is there. They've got the control. They'll get the oh. kill. And three heroes die after the Aegis is picked up by Liquid on Azor Ray. Heroes on side of Liquid have way too much survivability at the moment, and they deal way too much damage. They were trying to set up for Mickey because they had Ori there and Bach TPing in. Oh, Telkinesis no. low again. Now forced to BKB, turning around, looking over at Boxy, but that Glimmer Cape again. This BKB no is going to run There's out. No Four, he doesn't have a TP. He does have that on. The coil is there. It. He goes up onto the ulti, or up onto the hill, and will die. So, low dead again, while the rest of the team trying to find anything they can out of the map. Like in positioning in terms of fights? 
like in the rush fight you saw that 33 just like blinks Shiva's into the tree line exactly where Azure was. Like and they were smoking new. Telekinesis Glaive here. Still in blast off. TMing dead. 21,000 net worth lead. Not looking good for Azor Ray. Because Mickey thinks that he can't die and Sania will take care of the business with the swap into time lapse as we've seen. And this is going to be a set of barracks. That changes depending on whether you're melee arranged. No, it's a, like he... Oh, it's the... It's yeah, they the changed attack. it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it was before... Yeah, I forgot. Waiting rip. Silence the one, now here. it's a good one. BKB popped early. Stun gonna be FY thrown over on the FY. He's got a BKB. The shackle doesn't connect. Low. Bach, Arena, well placed. Spear hits it on Insanio. Lowe's got to get in here. They've got the swap that brings Nisha into the fight. But Lowe's BKB, it's going to run out soon. He goes to the ulti. Does he have the damage? They go to the time lapse. Oh boy, Yule Another stolen blast, blast off. off. They're going to get the kill here on a low. There's nothing he can do. They take out TM Ming. Dream coils down onto Ori. But he's lifted up, killed off. Three heroes gone. They'll call GG and Liquid take game number one off Azure. That was pretty convincing from Team Liquid. We did mention coming into the series that, uh, you know, this Alchemist, that they do flex, they bring it out one more time. It seems like they knew what's gonna happen with Lo. He had pretty good series against Team Spirit, you know. Smoke's not getting any kills and... Two it is what it is. Yeah. Unless the Centaur. There's still a lot of heroes Maybe. from Liquid here. Yeah, three heroes thinking about a stun, Magic Missile, Loser Yord, Power Shot. Misses the stun. Holy. And Nisha was, gets first blood. That was with a style. They gave it to Nisha, making sure he used Illusory Orb and TP's goes to his Illusory Orb. If I see that happen, I also want to see Azure Ray immediately playing aggressive on Alchemist. Or Spike, Hoof Stomp, Blood Grenade. McKay chasing Mickey after FY. Play. This is going to be a He's too Oh, he got level two. Oh, no. Got the wind run off. Now the power shot. It ends up being both kills for Liquid. Oh, this is massive. Are they using the courier? He might want to bring something else. Something else is interesting is back when this matchup was really, really popular, like this was pretty much every other game was Void versus Puck. Uh, if that's probably just Power Shot, a nice Ooh, Duke. Boxy? He's probably just dead though. The yeah, boxy. FY, Earth Spike, Anamike gets the Hex. Mm, double edge, but three heroes here. Bach played aggressive on that, and now the Sprout blocks his path and he just dies. Knew there was three heroes there, but elected to go for it anyway. And maybe finally Azor Ray get on the board, but if, oh maybe. God. Shadow Poison charging up the stun, turning this around. TMing needs vision. Sprouts there Gotta and another deny kill. No. Oh. Oh. Sad. So they do get the kill. When they entered, that's when Azor Ray made the turn. They actually got that level six and they yep. did that damage and TP'd in. We'll see if there's a similar situation in this game. Box is stacking again. Quite a lot of stacks I see on a minimap. Oh, they get the shackle. Box in trouble once more. And Senior with the magic missile is going to try and run as they'll hex, but it doesn't matter. Mickey on a killing spree. I think, I think that needs the most annoying thing I've seen is some Ember Spirit diving into like four heroes yeah. with reach. And just constantly healing. <laughs> <laughs> so they did come bottom with. FY wants to get a stun. A smoke. Yeah, FY looking for a stun, but instead that'll come. Focus fire. Come from Insania. Magic Missile was there. Sprout to block up the path. Bach on the run again. Or he's here. Hoof stop. So double Nisha. edge. Raise the coil. FY. He's dead first. Here comes Nisha. Look at Magic Missile once more. And they've got the Dream Coil. They'll get another kill. It's 10 to 1 in favor of Team Liquid. They're outplaying them so hard right now. And look at the stacks. And the stacks seven, don't stop. Seven. Obs early on, so they know that the stacks are here. But I don't think they have enough. I don't think they can actually go in and invade. Tian Ming will send out one of the we'll illusions scout to party. scout things out. Yeah. Yeah, not that you can really do anything about this unless you get he a will lot of He will Just block it. Boxy's like, yeah, you're not going to see this. They're going to go. God Strength, Storm Hammer, Earth Didn't Spike. He off. needed these heroes to go. Two and more hits. got everybody, but the Dream Coil oh, now is going to snap. 33 is able to survive. They get the kill on FY. This is looking horrible for Azor Ray. Or he's also Boxy stunned up. Creeps. Astro <laughs> Step. Two heroes gone, Boxy's dead, low on the run, but they've got everybody here to make sure that they can kite him and kill him off. Four heroes die. This is another bad fight for Azor Ray. 33 survives and will continue to farm the triangle. Um, it's like you see the win and you want to pick the the centaur, right? Like you're just confident that the centaur is good versus the wind carry. But I think when you combine it with this vengeance on enough. Oh, whoa, nice. stun! Done. Stun! Astro step, they're both gone. They disappeared. Well, with God strength, boom, both of them.
Oh, well, that's good. All right, so Azure has not hit anything with this Void Axe, and he They have is... Amplified Damage. They can fight right now. Yeah, I mean, if they get this fight, it's good. If they have Mickey. Mm, they're looking for it. There's the Silent Storm Hammer jump. Down goes Mickey. Right, they got him. Low gets the kill, pops that God Strength. And the Tier 1 mid. Mickey was so patient. He was waiting there for a long time. And so I'd like to see them just keep constantly... They don't have to, like, spam run around the map for kills, but I think they should fight every power rune. They should hold every, like, big jungle. They should kind of well, just do everything together. And the Waning Rift, they go to the ulti. But the Disruption save is there. The stun's thrown down onto TM. Nice Or he's going to be able to survive. He's got the Silence on a couple. They throw another stun out. They've got the Hex onto the puck. He got Puck's in some trouble. They've got the Mana Drain. Lowe's going to get the kill there. Onto Insania. They'll take the Venge. He Puck's didn't blink on Nisha. low. Nisha on the run. Storm it's Hammer coming. is falling. But no, he blinks away. The stun actually only hits on a Mickey. So he's back into the trees. The chase is on. Nisha trying to get out with a phase shift. Will do so. He's off Mac towards mid. Earth Spike lands out of the Alchemist. And now the focus is there. Storm Hammer, Hex, Mana Drain, and a big hit from low to get the kill there on the 33. Yeah, the Sven is large. And he's in charge. He's a good match for first win until the win gets his Lincolns. Which I think is like finishing up or have right now. Nisha. Earth Spike and oh, no. the Aether Remnant. Clean up Nisha, they get a finger kill there, or a finger assist stack. Just like that, gold lead down to 1k. Yeah. Plus a blink dagger. I mean, back in the day, they started me off with Wraith King. Wraith King Spirit Shocker. Stun. I think that was just coding for Warcraft. Back in the days, you could you didn't even have hotkeys. You needed to have a third party program to have hotkeys for Dota. In Dota 2, though, we have the technology. We do. They're going for Nisha. Stun lands. Astral Step. Resident Pulse. Enough. They've got the Silence. Stampede. Oh, His cool down. rooted and killed with the finger. No, nope. it's Baku gets the kill. He the wanted that there. stack. He huh? needs that stack. Please give me four. It is there. Sometimes you might not recognize where your role is, or you might think you need to keep building towards something, but your team doesn't. Your team's got you. Like it's a team game, right? Uh oh, Mickey. Smoke breaks. Spike shows up. Nice stun. They hit the stun. They go to the stampede. Lincoln's is going to be popped. They go to the swap. That's and now the Storm Hammer is going to follow it up. They look at the damage on Amike. It's way too much for him to handle. 1,500 crits. And Insania is dead. Boxy falls to Ori. That was a nice stun. If he used like Pike earlier, he definitely lives. Pushes Centaur away. I, I don't think the game's like out of Liquid's hands yet. I think they still have the ability to win. Like, Mickey's game is still good. The Alk obviously still is a really good game. I want them to make the move. Like, I want them to actually take the fight to Azure Ray and try to take like a real fight. As opposed to this, uh... Okay, that's it. Shackle shot. That connects. Low. Good He's counter fine. stun for Box. there, but they go to the ult from the Nature's Prophet. That roots him up. Box is going to get low. The Storm Hammer through on a mid They've got themselves asylum with, with the Resonant Pulse. Mana draining from off onto the side. The Sprout is there from Boxy to keep the Lion out of the uh -oh. fight. They charge Whoa. up the stun. They get the kill on Insania. They'll end up trading for Bach. They look over at low. He's going to pop the BKB. Right clicks Ooh, aren't going to be enough. They take out the Sven. And now they're going to look at the rest. TM Inc. trying to run away, but Boxy TP is right near him. They've got FY off to the side. The Ogre Seal totem used by Boxy as well. But they've got him surrounded with Treants. We'll take him out with the Illusory Orb, and now their chase is on to FY. He's going to be silenced up thanks to the leaning rift of this Pog. Earth Spike lands, but it doesn't matter. Nietzsche still gets the kill. Four heroes die on the side of Azor Ray. And though they played aggressive with Bach in the trees ready to counterplay. Yeah. Doesn't need to risk anything at the moment. Yeah. Elimination series, whereas I think the one we saw the puck pick up the yeah. If right let's say he has stage. a lot of gold in the bank, they start pushing oh, the high ground. Oh gosh, just immediately the elite fly. Dream coils down. It's on to Ori. They took out TMing triple kill for Mickey, and they just blow him up uh, real quick. They fly also bought back. So kind of interesting, interesting to see. But I think the way he could see it is that if he stuns a guy, he'll he might only have the time for one or two hits. Just because the swap. So it's he wants those one chance to be strong. Lincoln's pop, 33 forward. Bach off to the side. They've got that ward. They, they want have to that vision. Power Man's shot's dodge. not going to land. Ooh, good man to dodge. There by oh, Jackal. three. The chase is on. They look for the stun. The disruption save on the back lines. Aether Remnant's going to grab 33. The Earth Spike follow up. But do they have any damage to go after this? They use the drop second waiting. And Stampede at three the same time. This is where they fight. Azure should look to just jump like right now. Just take the fight. No alcohol. to Alcan initiate and if the EKB. Charged up. God strength. The shackle. The shackle. shackle on a Bach as well as low. 
They've got the disruption. 33 is going to bleed forward. Now they'll go for Bakhti. Air Spice is going to land on a 33. They've got themselves in silence as well as the Mana Drain on him, but Mickey gets the kill on a Bakhti to start this one. Bakhti onto the back lines. He's looking to clean up the supports. FY as well as Tia Ming are in a lot of trouble. They've already got two heroes dead without buyback. FY bought back in the last fight. They get the kill on Tia Ming. They've got the kill on a low. That's four heroes dead on the side of Azor Ray, and nothing lost by Liquid. They want more. They want to clean up everybody, and it's a full team wipe. They just, shackle. Yeah, those shackles destroying them completely. But, I mean, two racks feels like it's that spot, and they're willing to give it up. They've got the tier two bottom, so it can't be Mega Creeps just yet. They are pushing in. Boxy's there. Little TP. It's a long start. It's a long post. Stampede, Glaive here. Now they look over. Make a. Well, he he needs some help. BKB, BKB, but no Mickey's Mickey's coming in. They've got the shackle on a two once again. The stun's gonna be thrown from 33. The earthquake as well as the finger, but it's not enough Who's damage. Wait? Mickey's just not dying. They get the kill on the FY. They've got themselves to the stop of the end of losing TM. They're gonna lose Bach as well. Or he trying to recover anything he can. He doesn't even have a low for eight more seconds. Can they find this void spirit? Goes down low, goes through that blocking gate. Lights out for Azure Ray. They're ready to go for the high ground. The Mickey with his Lincolns. BKB, you need to commit heavily. Tian Ming with the buyback. Still without Box, still without FY. Sven's finally alive. They go to the Hex. They've got the disruption, the Astral Step that lands on a three. But they charge up the stun, they throw it over on Ori. He can't dodge it. Stormhammer's gonna come through on a 33. They've got themselves a Gale Force that's pushing him back into the hands of Liquid. Ori's low, the Ori's dead! Lowe's gonna pop the God Strike. He's also got the BKB, but there's the ulti coming up for the Rock of Nature from Boxy. They get a lockdown on a low. The call GG. Back. It's not as Ray's day, and Liquid take them out 2 0, and they will move on to the final day of Bent Boom Dodger. Oh, what a showing from Team Liquid. 2 0 again. They managed to. This lower bracket run is pretty impressive from Team Liquid. They managed to send home Extreme Gaming, send home Gaming Gladiators, and now Azure as well. This lower bracket run looking really spicy for Liquid.